provider, a great estate management to control and handle estate in your floral projects. An estate is basically the data that you use across your project. So in this video, let's learn how to use provider package and why do we even need to use estate management. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, I want to talk about why do we even need to use estate management. So let's look at this example. Here we have three pages, the first page, second page, and also the third page. We want to pass the data from the first page to the third page right here. The custom way to do it is to just pass it as parameters. So let's do it. I just need to create a variable here and then I will generate constructor for it and then initialize it in the first page. Now I have to do it the same for the third page. Now when I append the emulator, you can see that it is showing in the screen. Surely that was not the best way of doing it. Imagine if we have hundreds of pages, it would be really impossible to pass the parameter between all that pages. So a better way of doing it is using state management. And in this case, we will use provider. So just go ahead and install the package from Poptop div and import it here. Now create a class which should extend from the change notifier and inside it create the state which is a private variable. It also needs a getter which allows us to access it anywhere we want. Now I can display it in the screen using the context.watch. The last step is to wrap your highest level widget in the root of your application with multi-provider. It has a required parameter, providers. Just put the name provider as the first provider in this parameter and do a hot restart. As you see, it's showing up in the screen. So surely this way is much better. Now that we have a basic information of using state management, let's go a bit further. And this time I wanna create a counter app with provider. Although this example is going to be really easy and simple to use, but it will give you a good understanding of using providers in Flutter. So let's dive in. First, let's create a new file called counter page. And inside it, as always, we import the material.dart and create an stateful widget with a blank scaffold. Here, we have an app bar with a simple text, counter app. We also have floating action button. Remember, here we need to have two floating action buttons side by side in a row. So let's create the first one. It has an empty unpressed and also a child with the icons.add. Let's just copy and paste it one more time and change the second icon to remove. Now in the emulator, you can see the changes, but the floating action button is not really looking very nice. So let's change it a little bit. I will give it a padding. So just wrap the row widget with a padding and I will give it a padding of 30 for the left side. I will also put a size box with a width of nine between two floating action buttons. And now I think it looks better. Now in the body, we need to show the number. So let's just create a center widget which has a child of text. Inside it, for now, I will just put a zero. Also change the font size to 35. I think it looks nice. Now we have to work on the logic. So let's just create a new file called provider. I define my provider here. So let's just go ahead and create a new class called counter provider, which extends from the chain notifier, exactly like you saw from the previous example. Here, I will have to define the state, which is a private integer. And of course, I need to put a getter here because I want to access it in other files as well. Now I need to create two methods here. The first one is to increment the number and the second one to decrement. Create the first method called increment. And here I will increment the number by one. And also don't forget to call the notify listeners. If you wonder why do we have to call this method, whenever something is changing, and of course here we change the number, you have to call the notify listeners which it will notify all the clients that something has been changed. Now just copy and paste it one more time and here I will call it decrement. And of course we will decrement the number by one. Now get back to the counter page, import the provider package, then in the unpress for the first floating action button, I can use the context.read and specify the provider that we are using and then call the increment. Copy all of that and then paste it in the unpress for the second floating action button, which we decrement the number. So just change the increment to decrement. Now I just need to show the number. So exactly like the previous example, I can use the context.watch and call the number. Once again, as a last step, go to main.dart and create the second provider, which is called counter provider. Now we are done and it's working well. 